Enlarging and reforming the Security Council and its working methods should ensure that the agenda of the Council reflects the needs and interests of both developing and developed countries in an objective, rational, non-selective and non-arbitrary manner. It should aim at limiting and curtailing the use of the veto with a view to its elimination and should lead to a democratic, more representative, more accountable and more effective Council. It is imperative that we make genuine and rapid progress on the issue of United Nations Security Council reform, without which the whole process of UN reform would be incomplete. Our institutions of global governance cannot remain chained to the balance of global power that existed in 1945. we should arrive at a reform which changes the Security Council for the better, in that a permanent African presence on the Council and a permanent presence of other countries from the South, Brazil and India on the Council is essential, but also those who significantly contribute to the maintenance of international peace and security, like Japan and Germany, should assume their rightful place among the permanent members. No matter how often the Security Council reaches out to other actors, all such initiatives will be insufficient if that body does not truly reflect present-day global realities. Only genuine reform in the Council's structure can bring it closer to that goal. Diversity has to be embedded in its very heart, thus making it more legitimate more representative and hence more effective.